is a major development. Work begins this summer on a $240 million minor league baseball stadium in Worcester. The Worcester Red Sox are just weeks from breaking ground, and the excitement is growing about what this stadium could bring to the city. Our Paula Eben went to Worcester to tour the area with Chairman Larry Lucchino. Where would home plate be? Home plate would be right over here in this, in this way, left field out here, center field. Right field. Worcester Red Sox chairman Larry Lucchino walking around the abandoned industrial site that in less than two years will become the team's new $90 million home. It's more than a ballpark. It's also a complete project. We'll have two hotels actually uh, right across the street here so people can stay there, walk across the ballpark. It's 50 feet from home plate. It'll connect what's called the Canal District to the major landmarks of downtown Worcester. General Manager Daniel Ray's on a tight schedule. A lot of work before play ball. Oh, a lot. A lot. <laughs> 23 months of busy activity here, Paul. These images aren't complete yet, but give a good idea of the design by famed architect Janet Marie Smith. What did it mean to you to be able to design this ballpark from scratch? Janet is a virtuoso. Uh, when she was with us at the Red Sox, our slogan was, we fight for inches. Anywhere in Fenway Park, we could find a few more inches. We could do something new and different with the park. It will have some uh, Fenway-like characteristics, but it will be... Uh, it will be a little unconventional. Will people see concerts and other events yep, here? Absolutely. There'll be concerts, there'll be football games in the fall, there'll be other kinds of things. This really feels like this could really have a massive impact on the Well, uh, we're hoping that it does. We're determined that this, uh, that this is going to work for the city of Worcester. Another big piece of the project is reconfiguring treacherous Kelly Square, where no fewer than seven roads converge on this one intersection. As one local resident and told me right now there are no rules. As for the name Woo Sox, it seems to have caught fire a little bit. People yeah. seem to be rallying behind that, but no final decision has been made. Nothing's official except Polar Park. I love Worcester. It's home and and it's just so affordable to bring a family. Polar beverage owners, the Crowley family, hopes fans find good value in their hometown. It's absolutely going to be a family uh, destination and just a, a, a wonderful part of the charm and character of Worcester. It's going to be innovative and it's going to be uh, compact and it's going to be uh, charming and it's going to be comfortable for families. Opening day is set for April 2021 in Worcester, Paula Eben, WBZ News. Mm. Pretty exciting to see those plans. It's going to be great. I've never been to actually Pawtucket, but oh. I go to the Spinners games in Lowell, and it's awesome. So this is going to be a welcome addition. There's a, gr a great vibe about all those, and it's such a welcoming spot for families. And you can bring your kids and save a lot of money. Absolutely.